right on these shades uh one of the strings broke so i have to replace it and there were uh, directions online but some people like uh, to see it visually as well so i'm going to uh show how to do it visually <laughs> um so to take these corners off you just sort of peel them back in a way uh, because they're tabs i don't know if you can see that or not that focused there are little tabs here that you don't want to snap off because they'll never stay back on again so yeah always peel them away do that to all four corners and there's a small robertson screw that you have to take out to remove the blind from the wall so uh, we'll do that and we'll take it outside That's it. Alright, so I ended up going with a fly fishing line. Uh, it's, I don't know anything about fly fishing, but it's a WF-10, uh, whatever that means. And I bought yellow just to be able to see it better on video and just to see if it looks like a nice accent color in the blind. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the whole thing apart. Uh, because I'm going to replace the uh, string in the screen and the blind uh, so you can see both but uh, I'm going to start by tearing it apart and you need a Phillips screwdriver and there are two screws in each corner one for the side frame and one for the bottom frame so you got to undo all those screws all the way around and they have a uh, magnetic bowl that I keep all the screws in, doing this outside. Obviously, I don't want to lose any screws or anything. So we're gonna start with removing all the screws. Do that in all four corners. So before you tear all the frame apart, there's this uh, Allen screw in each corner. Hi, Emma, out of the way. There's an Allen screw in each corner that you have to remove that uh, holds the string taut for the blind. So you just remove that. There's a small little screw in there like that. And this you can push out from behind. There's a hole back there that you can just push the Allen key up through. So that's the the other piece that's in there that the string goes through once you put it all back together. Put that in my pull. Okay, so once you've removed the screws from both sides and taken the Allen set screw out, uh, you just kind of pull this apart and then take the whole thing apart. So each little section comes apart. Put those off to the side. I'm going to remember which corner is which, so I'm going to put them in the right order over here. Alright, so move these off to the side. Remember which is left, which is right. So you're left with the bottom strip, which has the screen in it. And the top, which obviously has the blind part in it. So, on each one, I don't know if you can see, there's a little sleeve that this goes into. So you just slide this out, and you're left with the blind in this top section. So I'm going to do that to both top and bottom. Same thing, same exact sleeve. You just pull out. Now, as you can see, on both the top and the bottom piece, there's a small little piece of tape here, which holds the string in place. Um, oh yeah, you also have to remove these on the end of each of the, uh, the rails. So that's just a Phillips screw in the end there. Remove those.
and then this whole screen assembly will slide out of the rail. So, remember which way that came out. And put that off to the side. I'm going to put the screen off to the side for a minute. Or the blind. We'll do the screen first. Okay, if this tape stays sticky enough, I'm just going to use it again. So just lightly peel it back. And put that safely off to the side somewhere. So, remember which way the routing goes. You can see that it comes out of these holes in the center here. And it goes opposite ways. I'll show a diagram that shows which. So, it comes out and it goes that way. And this one comes out and it goes that way. And then down through here. And then these it will crisscross in the rail as well off to the other side. So, uh, what some people have done, just keep the uh, screw holes aligned, or the screw holes, the uh, holes for the string is put a piece of tape around each side on, over here and here. Uh, you still have to leave enough room to be able to access this little spot to root the string through it's just one level of, yeah. Let's just go through there once. So, I'm going to use some painter's tape. All right. So, I am going to. Pull this old string out. So for the new line, you're obviously going to want excess, more than what you need, rather than less, just in case anything happens. So I think you need at least 10 feet. I'm going to go 12, if not more. And first, I'm going to run the cable through the middle here. So, one side through there. So, at this point, you want to make sure your lines are fairly even that you have the same amount of line on both sides. So, like we did earlier, it went opposite and then down through the holes. So I'm going to use a toothpick just to make sure everything stayed lined up through the screen. So the holes didn't stay lined up, so I'm just going to go through as many as I can at a time here. It's actually fairly easy. Just keep feeding it through. I've got one running that way. Same on this side. I'm actually going to remove this tape. The holes didn't seem to stay lined up, so... Seems easier to loosely do it this way. <laughs> that was even easier. <laughs> okay, so you have your two strings routed like that. If this piece of tape is sticky enough. You know what? I'm going to use a new piece of tape. That one's kind of dirty and not as sticky as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to hold on to both lines to keep it somewhat taut. And just put this tape. In the line. Keep it in place. Okay, so once 
That piece of tape is uh, back in position. You should be able to slide this bottom rail back on. Okay. So that's back on. And then these have to go opposite ways as well. And then I use this rail and that. Let's just slide into there. So this line has to stay, you can't really tape it on because it has to stay uh, movable because that's what slides back and forth for opening and closing the blind. There you go. So we should have the string coming out like that. The string coming out like that. Both crisscross opposite ways. And you can put these caps back on. So when you put this plastic cap back on, there's only one screw, by the way. There are two holes. But just make sure that, that uh, your line is coming out center then you put this on so there you go that one comes out we'll pull on these lines and tighten this up all right and that is the screen done all right, we'll put the screen off to the side for now. And then we'll do the same with the blind. Same thing. There's a piece of tape that you remove, and then you have to remove the screws from here.
Okay, so once you're done restringing your screen or blind or whatever you have to do, you can put these corner pieces back on and they just slide in on these tabs. Just like that. So at this point, you kind of want to route your cabling from the top blind. It has to go down through this. It has to come beside here. And it goes around the corner and goes through that uh, Allen key little thing. So we'll put it like that for now. At the bottom and do the same thing for the top. Just kind of run it like that. And then we'll put this back together. With the two cables in place. And do the same to this side. So double check your lines and make sure everything's run properly. And uh, now we're going to put the uh, two screws back in each corner. Take the frame up. I don't like to use power tools on uh, plastic, just in case you torque it too much and break the plastic or something, so I just use good old hand tools for this part. So now you can put these back in, in each corner, and run the, uh, the line through the hole on each one of these. So like I said, it comes around the corner. This through Got to get down in there. We'll do that to each corner before we put the screws in. So that's what it looks like. The line runs through the uh, little grommet. And uh, then you put the screw in there and tighten it down. And then you have to make a few adjustments for the blind and screen to go up and down. All right, once all your set screws are in, you might have to make some adjustments. So you have to test out how everything works up and down. Everything seems to be tracking back properly. So you have to make sure all the lines are fairly taut in this channel here. Which I think they seem to be. So I think you just keep tweaking it and make some adjustments. I think that works really well. The top seems to get bunged up a little bit. I'm going to try tightening up this cable because you see it sticks out here. See how it comes out here. So I don't think it's tight enough on that side. screen still seems to be a bit loose so you're gonna tighten those up. So remember when you're adjusting that if you're doing the bottom screen it's the strings at the top that you have to tighten. If you're doing the top blind you have to adjust the string at the bottom.
I think that works. Beautiful. All right, so you're obviously gonna have lots of excess left over, but I'm gonna keep a little bit in here for adjustments. So it'll be about, I don't know, three or four inches maybe. It can all be coiled up later and uh, hidden in the corners. So you don't have to worry about it. I'll test it vertically. All right. Nice. All right. Let's get her back in the van. All right, let's see if it works. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so I'll just wrap this up. Put these corners back on. You just start from there and snap them around the back. And that is it. So this is uh, the manufacturer is Remy or Remis. It's a European brand. All of the stuff is European in this vehicle. But it uh, should be pretty identical for any other blind system that's uh, the same in any other van. So yeah, that's it. That's how to restring it. I kind of don't mind the, uh, the yellow string. I wish it was orange. I was hoping to find orange. I'd just rather have two orange stripes. I think it would look cool, a little accent piece or whatever. But yeah, that's it. That's how to uh, restring the blinds and the screen. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, consider subscribing.